Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited about today's training because today I am going to be walking you through such a foundational step of your business. In fact, it's so foundational that so many people skip over this step and then wonder why they are struggling to make money uh, from their business, whether online or offline even. So this is something that you must have in your business and not only must you have it in your business, but you have got to revisit it every single day. And in fact, you've got to revisit it before you write any single word on a sales page or a blog post, record any videos, write a social media post. You've got to have this in place. And once you have it, it makes getting your business out there and getting your messaging out there very very easy to do now what is it that I'm talking about I am of course talking about I'm going to be teaching you today how to create your ideal client profile now you might have heard of people talk about the ideal client or target audience or ideal client persona it's you know some people call it different things but it absolutely just means the same thing and what it really means is that whoever it is that you want to bring into your business whoever it is that you want to become a customer or a client they are your ideal client do you see my point? They are the ideal person that you ought to be talking to. Because if you are talking to everyone, you are talking to no one, which means you have got to focus on speaking to that specific person, that ideal person. And the reason they are ideal is because they are the ones who are most likely to take action you know from whatever you have shared with them so that is why this is very very important and it is such a huge foundational step now before i even walk you through this i want you to meet a really really good friend of mine uh, she's also a coach she's a business coach and uh, her name is kendra now kendra lives in the united states she lives in the us and uh, specifically in the city of new york Kendra is married. She's got two boys. Her boys are aged four and aged seven. Now, one of the special things about Kendra is that she actually used to have a job. She was working in a nine to five before she became a coach. She had a very comfortable job that paid the bills, paid the mortgage and gave her and her family a really, really good life. However, in the middle of the pandemic, like many people out there, Kendra was made redundant and so she lost her job and because of that she now has a big massive why and a big massive push to really grow her business and she has found a way and to, to use her expertise and turn that into a, a coaching business but her biggest problem right now is she's not actually making any money coaching in fact Kendra unfortunately spends a lot of her time giving away her coaching for free. She's always talking to people, giving them advice and solving their problems and doing all of these amazing things, but for free. And she's struggling because all of her savings are literally going lower and lower and lower because no more money is coming in. And she's at a point right now in her business that she really wants to find out how to leverage her expertise, how to leverage her story and everything that she has been through and how to pull that into her business so that it becomes a wildly successful coaching business for her and that serves her family that is my good friend Kendra that I want you to meet. So unfortunately, you're not going to get to meet Kendra because Kendra isn't actually a real person. Kendra is my ideal client. You see how I painted a really, really detailed picture about Kendra, how I told you how many kids she had and you know how old her children were and how I told you that she used to have a job, she was then made redundant, how I shared about the biggest things that are keeping Kendra up at night. The reason why I am able to do that and to talk in such great detail about 
my ideal client is because I have spent a lot of time getting to know and building a picture of this person so that when I am creating any type of content, be it this video, be it a, a blog post, be it a social media post or anything like that, so that when I am creating that, it becomes very easy for me to picture Kendra and go, this is Kendra. Is this something that she would be interested in? Is this something that, you know, that she would click on? If it's a no, then I won't create it because Kendra wouldn't consume that type of content. Kendra wouldn't do whatever it is that I want her to do if it doesn't fit with her persona, with this ideal client. But the times when I'm able to nail it and really create something that Kendra would click on, I have hundreds of thousands of Kendras who watch my videos, read my posts, click on the links, go into my email list, buy my stuff. And it is because of Kendra, my ideal client, that I now have a profitable, a wildly successful coaching business. Do you see what I did there? This is the importance of having your own ideal client profile and knowing them inside out, knowing them like the back of your hand so that when you talk about this person, people wonder, is this real? Am I going to meet this person? And then you go, no, 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 She's the, you know, she is my ideal client. But you've got to know her or him inside out like the back of your hand so that your messaging is so succinct it's so powerful it shoots straight and it's and it hits the point that you want it to hit and somebody you know when your ideal client when your uh your person your kendra when they read it they go oh my goodness this this is for me i've got to do this you're talking to me i get so many emails from people who watch my videos or click on my ads or, or you know consume any type of content that say pam it feels like you were talking to me and i smile because i was talking to them i was speaking to kendra and they are kendra do you see my point so this what i'm sharing with you it's so foundational that many people get lazy and they just skip over it and then they wonder why they are struggling to really grow their business so here is what i want to do right now i want to help you to build your own ideal client profile i'm going to be asking you a series of questions and i want you to grab a notepad and a pen and you are going to answer these questions now Yes, you are watching a video, I get that, and you might choose to come back to this a little bit later. So because of that, I have also created um, a checklist of what I am going to be sharing with you today. So we have a freebie, it's called the Ultimate Target Audience Persona Template. It's a template, it has all the questions that I'm going to be asking you. You can grab it right under this video when you finish watching the video and grab it and use it later right so that you can complete this and once you have it you go over this character over and over and over again until you can talk about him or her like the back of your hand so let's dive in the first question to answer is who are they who is your ideal client right i want you to think are they a male or a female write it down uh how old are they I want you to give them a name. Notice when I talked about mine, I talked about Kendra. She has a name because she's got to be living and breathing in my mind because I'm going to be creating products for Kendra, coaching programs for Kendra, and lots of different messaging and posts and blog posts and videos for Kendra. So she has got to be a real person, in quotation, right, in my mind. So who is your person? What is their name? How old are they? These are the first questions that I want you to answer. Then I want you to answer this. What makes them tick? Let's say your person is called Danielle, right? Or Daniel. It doesn't matter if they're a male or a female, right? What makes her or him tick? What does that mean? It means what is it that rubs them up the wrong way? What is it that makes them go, oh my goodness, like this is this is irritating me. What makes them tick or what makes them excited? That's another way to think about it. What is it? Write that down. Then the next question is what are their biggest problems? Notice when I talked about Kendra, I talked about the fact that her biggest problem is the fact that she's been made redundant. And so her cushion, her savings that she had is going down and there is no 
no influx and so she's busy giving away her coaching services for free but she's struggling with how to monetize it how to get paid for her expertise right so these are her biggest problems her biggest frustrations right now her biggest frustrations right now is how do I get some money coming in using my expertise so thinking about your person what would you say are their biggest problems write that down then i want you to write down other pieces of information such as what type of what level of education do they have how much money do they make right now how much money would they like to be making right now write those down as well then i want you to think about your ideal clients their goals and their desires what are their goals Right. So in mind for Kendra, her biggest goal and desire is to be able to replace the income that she used to have when she had a job and to earn double of that. She's not even trying to be a millionaire right now. She just wants to be able to look at her old boss, her old colleagues and not feel a certain way, not feel slighted, not feel sad or down, but know that she is actually doing better and was well off for being let go of than when she was working for them. That is one of the things that she really desires. So thinking about your ideal client, what is it that she really desires? Then thinking about your ideal client, what are her interests and her hobbies? What are some of the things that she's doing when she's not doing, uh, you know, whatever it is that you offer? So if you do business coaching, when she's not running her business, what is she doing? If you're in career coach, when she's not working, what is she doing? If you are a relationship coach, when she's not thinking about those relationships, relationships what is she doing how does she spend her time and then we have two more questions that I want you to cover these are very very important the first is what is your message to this person right what is your message one of the biggest things that I talk about when I talk to Kendra when I talk to my audience who are filled with Kendra's all over the place right so when I'm talking to Kendra my biggest message to Kendra is this one yes you can completely earn your desired income you can do this two you don't have to do this by working yourself into the ground or by giving your services away from uh, for free three if you simply nail down the area of your expertise and use our framework to turn that into a profitable business you will be able to create an offer that you can then find a paying client for in as little as three days now why is that my message because we have proven this over and over and over again but it didn't start with the proof it started with us with me going this is what I would like to help people to achieve and this is my message and then I started to get results from clients who have achieved that so it is your turn what is your message to that person what is your message to Kendra now your message can be different as well it can change now my Kendra for example uh, uh, some of my ideal clients a lot of them come to me because they look up to me in the sense that Pam you are a black woman you're a dark-skinned black woman and you're doing incredible things so part of my message as well to to my market is yes it doesn't matter what the color of your skin is you can do amazing things if you just take action and put your mind to it and leave all the excuses outside the window Two, it doesn't matter what your accent is. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what your status is. It doesn't matter. If you want to achieve what you want to achieve and you are willing to put in the work, you can. So do you see, that is why I'm able to attract the people that I attract because my message is really, really clear. So what is your message to the market? And finally, the final question that I want you to answer now concerning your ideal client, where does she hang out? right which basically means where are you going to be talking to her are you going to be talking to her on youtube or are you going to be talking to her on facebook or is she on clubhouse or on snapchat or on instagram or on linkedin or somewhere else where does she hang out it's very important for you to know where she hangs out because if you know where she hangs out then you know how to talk to her because if she hangs out on youtube then you know you've got to create videos do you see my point if she only reads blog posts then you know you've got to be blogging if she is more of an audio person and maybe she's always on the go, then you know that you've got to do some podcasting or go into Clubhouse or something like that. So 
these are the components that I want you to put in to your ideal client profile. And of course, we have our free gift with, with all of the questions that I have um, shared here and some bonus stuff um, inside of that actually for you that really breaks down exactly how to market to this person. So if you look at the link below this video, you will be able to grab the ultimate target audience persona template. So grab that and start completing that so that you are able to talk to your ideal client like the back of your hand. So before I go, two more things. Comment below and let me know what was your biggest takeaway from watching this. It helps me to sleep better to know that I'm helping you. <laughs> The second thing is, if you are looking to build your business a little bit further, make sure you check out these videos so that you are able to do just that. I, you know, I pride myself on really giving and helping people and really, you know, uh, being transparent with my business so that you can get incredible results. So make sure you grab that freebie, comment below, and of course, check out these other videos. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do hit that bell, subscribe and share this video so that we are able to have a bigger impact. Thank you. See you in the next video.